Today's example is lesson 26, the photocell. We've seen in the past various types of resistors, the standard fixed resistors that limit the current to our LEDs. We've seen resistors that change their value with temperature, like the thermistor example. Today then it's no surprise that we have a little device which changes its resistance according to the amount of light falling upon it. These devices can take two forms, the so-called intrinsic, which are based upon semiconductor materials such as silicon or germanium, but this little guy that we're looking at here is an extrinsic light-dependent resistor. If we take a look at it in close-up under the microscope, it's actually a track composed of cadmium sulfide, which we can see moving backwards and forwards, and that's just attached to the two legs. What happens when light falls upon the cadmium sulfide is that in the dark it produces a very high resistance, there's not much activity within the material. However, as the level of light increases, the resistance will decrease and we'll be able to measure that using the analog input of the Arduino. Then doing a bit of math, we'll light uh, a number of LEDs according to the light intensity. Once again, it's based upon the previous examples using the shift register and the eight LEDs. We just add the photo cell light dependent resistor to it, 50k ohms in near darkness and only 500 ohms in a bright light. Looking at the circuit diagram then, we have the photocell connected to plus 5 volts and then we have a fixed resistance going to ground, the centre point being connected to the analog zero input on the Arduino. Essentially it's working as a potentiometer. There's our circuit diagram, no surprise, the 5 volts, the LDR, the 1k resistor, going to ground and our analog input. Let's take a quick look at the sketch now. Not really any surprises, not much difference from the previous examples using the shift register. We have a light pin, this is our A0 analog input. We have the three control pins for the shift register and we have a value for setting the number of LEDs which are lit, which is set to zero. Initially, in the setup, we just define the pins as outputs and we have our void as before to update the shift register, clocking the bits least significant bit first. In the loop then, it's just reading the analog input light pin, which is A0, doing a little bit of clever maths on it to work out how many LEDs to switch on. If the value is in excess of that to light the eight LEDs, it will only just like the eight LEDs, and similarly no LEDs on to start with. And that's all there is to this sketch. I've already uploaded it to the board. Connecting the board up then, we can see quite a lot of LEDs lit as it's quite bright with the video lights on. If however I obscure the LDR, we can see that the lights indeed eventually will almost all go out apart from the first one there. We're missing one LED on the end so if I bring a torch into play and bring it nearer to the LDR eventually the last LED will light as well. So quite a neat circuit there and these circuits are used in many light control circuits so many street lamps for example will use these to switch on the street lamp as dusk approaches. I'm sure you can find many more examples and maybe make an example for yourself.